Hello guys and welcome back to this new update video. If you have been careful, you might have noticed that something changed and that's the first person controller. I didn't start it from scratch. Uh, I found a good base to start with because, uh, <laughs> let's be real, because I'm lazy, but I had to change it to, to fit to my game. So there is a little head bob when you walk or run. Uh, I know that some people don't like it, so it will be optional. I mean, you can disable it from the settings if you want. And I got some field of view kick when you're running, so that gives you like the feeling of speed. This is an example with a pretty exaggerated value, so you can understand better what this is. I can also crouch now and I can use it to go in spots that I couldn't before. This may be useful in caves, for example, like here to reach this chest. Okay, well, before I move on, I have to say something. When I started this game, uh, the main idea was to have a variety of islands, you know, uh, to have many biomes, ecosystems, different flora, different weathers and so on. And to survive and upgrade your stuff, you had to take advantage of all of this. But lately, I didn't focus too much on this aspect, so that's probably something I'm gonna work on in the next future. The starting point toward this way is an item that gives you many informations about a new island you land on. You can see it's powered with solar panels, so unless you're during night or in a dark spot you won't need an energy cell. The information that gives you are the island type, the position in coordinates, the solar power, the windiness, which I don't think they need to be explained, soil fertility and hostility. I'm not gonna say anything about soil fertility for now, but the hostility is the possibility of hostile weather to happen, like this one. <laughs> this is this stuff is bad for you. That kills you. <laughs> you should just avoid it. So yeah, hopefully this item is gonna be useful. Um, okay, now let's move on something different. I have always said that I wanted to make a jetpack to help the player, you know, climb mountains, reach very close islands, but my first person controller was, um, how can I say it, uh, abhorrent, yeah, I think that's accurate, but now I have a decent one and I can do it. Using Blender and a bit of my model skills, <laughs> that's funny to say, um, I came up with a static model. This is powered with energy, so no fire, just propellers, and here we go. Um, the <laughs> I, I don't know, it seems a little bit fast. I mean, what do you think? Uh, I guess I have to calibrate it before, but yeah, this is the concept. Right now I'm using it with infinite power because, you know, yeah, I'm testing it but of course it will be limited. The key to use it is the same that you use to jump, uh, you just have to hold it. I'm also thinking on making variants with different speed and capacity to move faster and for a longer time, but keep in mind that this is not meant to fly between islands. Uh, for that, you will have to use the airship. No escape. The next thing to show belongs to the desert island and it's a plant that might look like a coral and it is mainly used to drop a sort of a fiber material, but rarely it could also drop something that you can find in the inside. Uh, I don't know what yet, but probably it's gonna be something usable in the smelter. Another plant I made starting from a sketch is this one. As always, I used Blender and I tried some different colors and personally, I prefer the blue one. Uh, this is going to be a gas plant uh, that you can harvest, but you will have to have a gas mask or something like that to protect yourself. You know, I reached a point where I don't want to spoil too much about the game, just don't want to talk about everything in detail, but at the same time I want to keep you posted. So yeah, I'm trying to find a balance between these two things. Um, Alright, I haven't done much in this period as you can tell, that's because university is taking his part, but it's okay, I will always find time to work on this game and keep you guys posted. So, if we reach 4.2 million likes for this video, I will make something cool in the next one. And for those who reach this point, uh, I'm gonna spoil a little bit of what I'm gonna be working on in the next days. So right after this video is out, I'm gonna start dealing with a brand new farming system. I have many ideas for that. It's not gonna be like a classic farming system where you plant and you pick your crop. I mean, there will be that part, but you'll be able to mix plants, uh, creating new species with better features, uh, find the right environment to grow them, use the right soil and blah, blah, blah. And after that, maybe I'm gonna start doing some creature finally. You guys have been asking a lot for them. Well, if you want to stay up to date, be part of this amazing community, don't forget to subscribe, join the Discord server, and beside that, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video.